The 2018 Volkswagen Atlas has arrived to a part I where everyone is looking at what it's doing. After all, if you're rolling in super late, you'd better have a good reason to back it up. The Atlas is a product of VW's failed attempt to regain a huge stake of the American market, an effort stalled not just because of corporate malfeasance, but also the drastic shift away from cars and minivans. Midsize SUVs have been the family transportation devices of the 2010s, decades after the last transporter slash microbus slash van Eigen left US showrooms. The Atlas doesn't go after nostalgia, however, because it has very mainstream rivals in its sights. But in a crowded field, the Atlas has to not only be very good but also bring something new. Every Atlas gets Apple CarPlay, Android Auto or Mirror Link depending on your smartphone. This is good because navigation comes only on the most expensive sell and sell premium models and is therefore bundled in with a lot of stuff you probably don't want. Still, all but the most basic Atlas gets a bright new 8-inch touchscreen to control infotainment functions. And it's backed by a faster processor than the smaller unit in other recent VWs, finally making it one of the more stable and easy to use systems out there. Those who shell out for the sale premium also get the new digital cockpit, a 12.3-inch TFT screen in place of physical gauges and pretty much a simpler version of Audi's virtual cockpit. But VW apparently spent most of the Atlas interior budget because, despite its MQB origin shared with the Golf and more recent VW introductions, many pieces inside feel as cost-cut as the budget-conscious Jetta and Passat do. The door pockets and glove box aren't lined with fabric as they are on even a $20,000 Golf, either, so bottles and cans rattle when you're driving along. Many surfaces other than the soft dash pad are hard when you smack your knee against them.